A lot of people have been telling me, NL, you seem like you would be really good at managing your own logistics network in Western Europe uh, and, and building airports and choosing routes for airplanes to fly and managing all that sort of stuff. I, it's very flattering to hear stuff like that. Many people have said it. Luckily, a game finally came out um, called Flycorp, where we get the opportunity to check that out for yourselves, for ourselves. Would you like to play the tutorial? We might as well, because like I probably know what I'm doing, but some people in chat might not really understand like all the intricacies of, of this kind of business right here. Once I'm just going to lower the volume even further. I just wanted to make sure everybody's on the same page here, you know? Before I start doing some crazy stuff. It does have a Nintendo DS style um, <laughs> uh, UI, which is funny. Today, we'll start the journey of developing our passenger airline. We're going to plan routes, launch new planes, and make global decisions. Are you ready to build a successful transportation network spanning the entire world? Yes. To move the map, click anywhere and drag in any direction. You can also use WASDA. Okay, understood. Use the mouse wheel or Q&E to control scale. Got it? Tap on Frankfurt. Passengers are already arriving at the airport. Brother, we don't have any planes. Top route takes us to Stuttgart and Hamburg. This Here's where people want to fly. If it exceeds the airport's capacity, you lose. Tap anywhere outside of the pop-up to close it. I understand. Click on Frankfurt and move your cursor to Berlin without releasing left mouse. You can see the cost of building near the line. Okay, it's pretty cheap. We'll make a plane level one there for $129. As soon as a plane arrives in the destination city, you earn money. The amount you have is displayed in the upper left corner. That's true. The icons of cities will change depending on passenger occupancy. If they turn red... Get ready, brother. There's never enough money to connect every city to every other city, but we can open routes with transfers. Connect Hamburg and Berlin. Okay, I'll connect them with a level one plane. Yo, but what if your ass has to get to Hamburg? That's now passengers who want to get from Hamburg to Frankfurt. Well, they'll transfer in Berlin because there isn't a direct flight. This means the Berlin airport's load will now increase. You only receive money when the passengers reach their destination. Oh, they are flying back. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a two-way route. I understand. Next, join Stuttgart and Frankfurt to connect all the unlocked cities. I'll open a level 1 flight there. To increase airport capacity, upgrade the airport level. Okay, go ahead, upgrade it to level 2. Frankfurt's in trouble. Do the same with airplanes. Each level will increase their capacity and speed. Hang on, I need to upgrade this airport so it doesn't... Well, actually, it's doing just fine. You can do the same with airplanes, okay? Select any plane and level it up. I select this plane and upgrade it. I think I just upgraded the airport again. I'd like to select this plane and upgrade it to level two and then sell it mid-flight. Ah! Click the dotted line of a route to see its name and the planes flying it. Okay. Understood. Planes and routes can be sold for half the price. Another way to improve the network's performance is by increasing the number of planes. Choose any route and buy a new plane. Okay, well, Frankfurt to Berlin is very popular. Let's, let's, uh, let's add a new plane to this one. Different scenarios and game modes have different wind conditions. For example, in Discover the World, you need to unlock new territories before the timer with its name in the upper right is, runs out. If you don't, you lose. Okay, get your ass to Sweden. If you don't know where a territory is located, I know where Sweden is, man! I know that's po okay. There you go. There's Sweden. I need to unlock it for 300 gold. It looks like you don't have enough money yet. You can also skip some time by increasing the game speed, but be careful. Airports will fill up faster. It's a little fast paced for me. There we go. Slow me down again. I'd like to unlock Sweden if you don't mind. You'll see messages from time to time when new cities are unlocked and when an airport's almost full. These cases require your attention. To move to the city, click the message. Understood. 
Unforeseen situations pop up periodically. Some of them you can't influence. Ah, a popular urban blogger posted a video review about the Frankfurt airport. He really liked its architecture. Now people are coming here to see the airport in person. <laughs> Could it be cheaper to just get a life? The number of passengers in Frankfurt increased by 50%. Okay, how are you doing? It seems like you're doing great right now. We have unlocked Sweden. We also need to unlock Belgium. Now you're ready for some real scenarios. Tutorial completed. I'm crazy. Completed without saving. We get a nice bonus. Okay, how about play? I'll do... I mean, I feel like discover the world. In this mode, you need to unlock a new territory every six minutes. Scenario mode offers lots of interesting scenarios. Let's start with discover the world. Okay, I would say we need Berlin to Hamburg. We need Hamburg to Dusseldorf. We need Dusseldorf to Stuttgart. But first, we need to get some money. Turns out it's uh, kind of expensive to like run an airline. You know what Warren Buffett said? It's really easy to become a millionaire. Just start as a billionaire and then buy an airline. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a lot of he's got a lot of jokes like that. Okay, there you go. Now rip to you if you're in Stuttgart and you want to get to Berlin. But here's the deal, brother. If you live in Stuttgart and you wanted to get to Berlin, your ass should move to Berlin. Okay? Sorry. Otherwise, you're gonna have to deal with this needlessly circuitous route for now. How's Dusseldorf doing? It's doing okay. I think that we're gonna. It's 156, holy cow, no wonder. You guys are all doing great right now. Goal is to unlock Denmark, costs $300. The whole world is celebrating New Year. The number of passengers increases by 20% for a week. Okay, we've also unlocked Hanover. Let's start by getting this connection here, making things a little bit more efficient, I hope. And then we'll just have Hanover get a nice connection to Hamburg there. Okay, I would say for now, Everyone's just chilling. Gonna need some plane upgrades at some point, for sure. We, there's, I guess there is a rush to unlock Denmark, now that I think about it. So we only got a minute and 19 seconds. Costs 300. There you go. Now we got seven minutes to unlock the Netherlands. Now, let's see. Hamburg. It's a very popular airport. Berlin. Dusseldorf. I mean, just for me personally, you got to think about fuel costs. As a result, I would say um, we're going to go Hamburg to Copenhagen. And there you go. And then let's focus on getting some upgrades real quick. You don't need to connect it. Yeah, but I, like, I mean, I want my lads to be able to visit Copenhagen. Heard they got some great restaurants there. And then let's, let's speed up for just a minute here. Breaking news, Hamburg is almost full. Upgrade it immediately. What do you mean it's almost full? It's 16 of 50. We're chilling. Twenty-one of fifty? Eighteen of fifty? I mean Hamburg is it's a little busy. We'll upgrade it to level two so we're not dying. A new airport has also been opened up in Munich. Understood. And it's a funky little airport, too. I'll connect you for 61. Let's get you on the route here. And then Dusseldorf, of course, could use an upgrade. No doubt about that. Breaking news, Dusseldorf is almost full. Okay, well, good for Dusseldorf. Okay, I, I think I've saved Europe here. Everyone can get where they need to go in a circle. If you gotta go from Munich to Copenhagen, well, you should buy your own airplane. Otherwise, you're at the mercy of um, my money, which is presently only at 120, okay? Now, I do think it'd be nice to get some airplanes upgraded. I also, well, you know what? While we're here, why not? What's our, our busiest route appears to be Dusseldorf to Hamburg. Let's, uh,. Let's upgrade that airplane to a level two. Stuttgart could use a, an airport upgrade as well. 
I gotta say, the rest of uh, the rest of Europe's really fallen behind here in terms of air travel. I mean, like Germany's got like seven airports, Denmark has one, and the rest of the world is getting thrashed right now. Africa's so stretched out. That's because they're not using the Mercator projection, which unfairly shrinks the size of Africa. I don't know which projection is good. All I know is that the Mercator is... Well, it's probably the, the worst good one, because you gotta, you, you gotta make a compromise no matter what in order to show the, a sphere in a two-dimensional plane. Mercator's the worst, worst one? Really? Why, they should use another one then, in my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade your plane. We still got three minutes. It distorts the hell out of Canada? Yeah, it makes us look, look bigger. It's like losing uh, 20 pounds. It adds like another inch and a half, right? Confirmed. It's, I gotta say, like, just right out of the gates, it's probably one of the most exciting games I've ever played. Um, I'm gonna unlock the Netherlands real quick while we're here. And then, um, because you're already... Well, you know, I mean, listen. I'm not gonna open an Amsterdam to Copenhagen flight, you know? Sorry, your majesty. I'll, I'll open a little connection to Hamburg, and this could be like a nice major uh, connection point right here. A popular urban blogger posted a video review about the Hanover Airport. The Hanover Airport has not been upgraded, brother. I will say... You know what? It's not even close to maxing out anyway. I also feel like... We should do like a small... Well, you know what? Let's, let's open up a Frankfurt to... I'M OVERWHELMED, OKAY?! I feel like... We should set it up like North America. What we said nobody ever when it comes to transportation logistics. All I mean when I say that is you should have like... A major airport that the minor... Smaller airports all fly, fly into. What you should not do is go small airport to small airport to big airport. Instead of doing Frankfurt to Hanover, then getting another flight to Hamburg, you should do Frankfurt to Hamburg if Hamburg's gonna be your big airport. That makes sense to me. So let's just set it up like that then. Sure, you're flying over another airport in the process. You're, whenever you fly you're to, from one destination to another, you're probably flying over like a billion other airports. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Berlin could use another uh, an upgrade for sure. Frankfurt to Stuttgart is kind of a mess right now. Well, you know what, uh, Point Dexter? The joke's on you because we're going to actually make... Um... Oh! We had five seconds to do that. Um, sir, we're about to lose Hamburg. Yeah, your ass could just drive that, okay? I can't take a flight from YVR to Payne Field. You have to take a car. And it's worth it, because Payne Field is like a goaded airport. Okay, now. Yeah, just drive it. You're doing great. You fly to Hamburg, and then, maybe Munich could be like another hub for like the rest of Europe for us. I don't know. I feel like Amsterdam is connecting to Hamburg. That's great. Can I? And you don't need to connect to Copenhagen, or you don't need to have a direct flight to Copenhagen. Top review for this game on Steam has like 300 hours in it. I mean, it's a. I could see why. There's something magical about travel. I know, like, some people feel it, some people don't. But I like. Traveling is cool to experience like different parts of the world, different cultures, etc, etc. But it's also cool because you take a fucking airplane, which is like, even though they've been around for like over a hundred years, it's still kind of science fiction. A new airport has opened in Dresden. Okay, well guess what? Dresden, 
flies you to Hamburg. That's a given. And I think we are gonna make Munich into like a second hub. That's my prediction. It's also cool because only like 20% of the world's population can afford it. Okay, only like fucking 0% of the world's population can afford to waste their time watching my damn stream. So if we could all just take a moment of silence for like the 99.99% .99 of the world that is busy toiling right now so that we can all have the privilege to watch me fucking look at a map of Germany made in Microsoft Project, then like would... I mean, you, you could apply that logic to just about anything. Anyway, we're probably the greatest airport creator of all time, if I had to guess. Let's unlock Poland. We got Warsaw. I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be an expensive trip here, but Warsaw to Hamburg is a given. Let's open that bad boy up. I can, dude, do you think in the next hour we can make it to Canada? <laughs> it's, I can't imagine it's in the first 50 countries, so probably not. Stugart, what's wrong with Stugart? Not much. Everything's great. We're still just upgrading our planes because the up, upgraded upgraded planes give more money. Upgraded, well, if there's demand. Upgraded planes give more money. Upgraded airports means we don't uh, lose. So they obviously both have some necessary uh, elements to them. 31 of 50, I'm not upgrading that. Don't forget you can also get multiple planes per route. Ooh, true. I will say, I, this is probably our settings menu, if I had to guess. But um, I feel like it would be nice to have, uh, like, a, a, an info screen that was like, here are your top routes across, like, multiple different airports right now, instead of just on an airport-to-airport -airport basis. Don't worry about Dusseldorf. I got Dusseldorf covered. Yeah, I want to see, like, some graphs or something. Hamburg Airport. I mean, it's, you know what, it, it, this is going to be like our, our international hub for now. We got to give it a chance. Hanover has arrows on it because the airport's so nice. More people came to visit it. They just decided to fly out of it just because it's a nice airport. The employees of the aircraft manufacturer went on strike. Prices on new planes are twice as high for a week. Well, I, we, we just did a lot of upgrades. So I think that that's good for us. We'll have a flight from Katowice to Hamburg. But then this shit's gonna be expensive, bro, because I gotta buy a plane. <laughs> ah, well, nevertheless. You're right, that's not sensible. We should probably just make Warsaw into a hub. <laughs> Can I, excuse me. The route will be deleted. I, I mean, we'd lose money for that, but listen, we got it. Everyone wants me to do hub and uh, spoke design. Of course, also everybody knows that in the past um, six or seven years, literally everybody that has a Twitter account became an expert on transportation, logistics, and engineering. So I don't want to get on the bad side of, of urban planning, social media. I only recently found out uh, what a bollard is. Apparently everybody knows what a bollard is except me. I knew about traffic calming zigzags. I knew about roundabouts. Well, okay, let's, while we're here, certainly Warsaw to Copenhagen. Well, but then that's only saving you like one flight. I think we're chilling. Don't, don't get impatient. Use your money for like, it, it's a bad time to upgrade airplanes unless you have to. But it's a good time to upgrade airports instead. So you know what? Let's spend a little money upgrading our existing infrastructure here. You're absolutely right. A very sensible uh, improvement here would be actually selling this airplane. 
and then instead running Munich to Hamburg and probably upgrade the airplane, unfortunately. And then similarly, like deleting these and then having all the flights route into Hamburg instead. You could unlock Canada if you wanted. I got a ways to go. How much is it to upgrade you? 200? I'll pay. I'll pay because I gotta pay. That's business. I'm gonna unlock a country now while we can. Munich, you're gonna need to be upgraded to level 2 on the airport level. Lots of red planes, no doubt about it. Give me some Switzerland here. Switzerland, we're gonna give you one flight from Bern to Hamburg. We've added Nuremberg. Sir, we've recently added a new airport in Germany. Okay, you know, we're gonna go Nuremberg to Hamburg. Warsaw's in trouble. Not in trouble, in need of capacity in the future. Hub and spoke gamer, but he only makes spokes. Bro, Germany's just one country. How many hubs does one country get? God forbid you want to go from Munich to Bern. I didn't realize that running an airport is like running a charity. You have to like, people drop into the airport and they're like, I want to get to the next town over. Okay, fucking take a train, idiot. If your ass wants to go to China, then we're going to put you on a plane to Hamburg and then we're going to fly you to Beijing. If your ass wants to go to Munich too, then hop on your damn bicycle. I'm just, for now... For now, I'm, I'm feeling... I feel like it's a great time to purchase countries. Because airplanes are expensive. Oh! I'll, no problem, I'll upgrade Warsaw real quick. We can always add like a second airplane, I'll admit. I mean, what are you, are you level, you're a level two airplane? Okay. Munich's gonna need an airport upgrade or more flights. I mean, no matter what, you gotta, you're buying, right? Now here, dude, there's Vienna to Hamburg on a level one plane. And then Vienna to Warsaw on a level one plane. There you go. Europeans, when they have to take a 90 minute flight, no, what are you doing? Vienna to Hamburg, that's such a long flight. I, you could watch one movie during that. Vienna to Munich? No. That's for bicycles. You want to get from Vienna to Munich? You take a bicycle. Vienna to Bern? We'll talk about that. I'm just waiting for 20 seconds here. Why is this so captivating? I don't know. It's just, it's just satisfying watching them kind of like move around, right? New goal, unlock Czech Republic. I'm sorry to tell you, well, Amsterdam will be hosting an air show in a few days. Our PR department recommends we participate, but it will cost us 268. Should we join? Hell yeah. Absolutely. A new airport has opened in the city next to Warsaw. Okay, you don't need to go to Hamburg. You go to Warsaw on a level one airplane. And then Hamburg is gonna need some support pretty soon. I mean, it is doing, it's the busiest airport in Europe. The air show was good, but other companies performed better than us. I didn't, I just fly people around. I don't do like barrel rolls and stuff. Okay, I think we have 14 minutes to unlock the Czech Republic. A great opportunity to handle existing infrastructure. Great, it, it's up. Hamburg is almost full. 
a great opportunity to upgrade your existing infrastructure. Hamburg can now handle up to a thousand people, making it the smallest, biggest airport in world history. How about a little one of those? That was very expensive. Add more flights, please. I feel is it well, I mean, no, I guess it's cheaper to just it's cheaper to add a level one plane than it is to upgrade a plane to level two. But it gives you slightly less capacity, but that might be okay. I'm assuming Hamburg to Vienna is gonna need another upgrade. Now let's let's see. Busiest routes out of Hamburg. The Nuremberg route goes crazy. Let's let's add another. I forgot how to do it. You click on the route itself. Where are you going? Hamburg to Nuremberg. Chad, how do I add in more routes? Click the dots. The dots are so motherfucking close together. Munich to Hamburg, no thanks. Munich to Hamburg, no thanks. Munich to Hamburg, no thanks. Nuremberg to Hamburg. I clicked on the plane by accident. Here we go. I would like to buy a new plane. Pray I don't alter it further. You know what, for now, why don't we toss two of those bad boys on there? How's everybody doing airport-wise? Not so bad, let me look at Warsaw. It's pretty busy, but one level two airplane can handle all that. Let me look at, uh, let me look at Hamburg again. Bern, also a very busy flight. Let's open this one up. Let's buy a new plane. I'll buy a new level three airplane. There's our other one. It's level two. A new airport has been opened in Rocklaw. Okay, that's easy to handle. Let me get a let me get a Rocklaw level one airplane. Thank you. And I think everyone, we're kind of chilling here. I don't think that red airplane is bad. Because like every flight I've been on in five years is completely packed. So I'm like, this This should be a normal-ass airplane. If anything, it should be red if the airplane's not packed. I could be flying a smaller airplane instead of like a 737. Okay, Hamburg, it looks like you're doing great, honestly. Let's look at Munich. Munich's not too busy. Let's look at Stuttgart. It looks honestly like you're doing fine. I guess red means we could be making more money, of course, if we upgraded the airplanes. If we have lots of red airplanes, we could be making more money by raising the capacity of those airplanes. How about Vienna? I mean, it's only a level one airport. Give it a quick level two. Gotta be sick. Basically, I've, I've realized the game now. If you see something red, click on it and spend money until it becomes yellow or green. <laughs> okay, I mean, we could, we could expand here. Czech Republic. Prague. I'm sorry to tell you this, Prague. You are not going to be a hub. Don't shoot the messenger. But, wait a minute, maybe your ass is going to be a hub? I gotta send you somewhere. Probably make more sense. <laughs> like the Hamburg to connect to the rest of the Europe kind of, to the rest of Europe kinda of sucks. What about to Vienna? Then Vienna will reconnect to Bern. Why not just go straight to a level three? And now we got a, a little Vienna hub here. Okay. 
and Italy comes out next. I mean, that's that's a big one. There's there's lots of tourism there. Catavise running into trouble. Why are you so busy? I guess people live there. I guess that's a good answer for you. The Poland government gave you a grant for upgrading the airport in Warsaw. The airport level has increased. Thank you, Polish government. Thank you. I'm just going to call you Springfield. I'll send you Springfield to Hamburg on a level one. And I'll send you Springfield to Warsaw on a level one. There you go. Munich passengers got to be so sad. You know what? You raise a good point. Munich should also connect to Vienna and possibly also to Bern. That's their reward for living so close to two major airports. You can fly out of YVR or you can fly out of SeaTac. Congratulations. We're going to upgrade some orange planes real quick. Now, dude, I suggested that 10 minutes ago. You said buy a bike, you broke bitch. Those were not my words. <laughs> those were my thoughts, but you're, you don't have access to those. Okay, Rome. Go ahead and tell you I think Rome is also a hub. Helps us get to Africa, helps us get to... Uh, I was going to call it Asia Minor, like I'm literally from 2,000 years ago. Where Mark Anthony did his uh, did his trials. Okay, let me get a uh, let me get a burn to Rome level three, and let me get a Rome to Vienna level three. And then there's a part of me that thinks, brother, what about Rome to Hamburg? <laughs> it's not that long. Unless you're like the Wright brothers. You're kind of bleeding money. I think we're spending money. There's a difference between spending and bleeding. Five hundred and eighteen to send you. And you could pay extra for a direct flight. All right, now we just hope we don't have any emergencies popping up anytime soon. If airports have a level cap, Hamburg will screw you. Uh, breaking Vienna is almost full. Easy money. Hamburg's chilling. Don't scare me like that. If you were starting a chicken farm, would you rather start with 50 chickens or 50 eggs? It's an interesting uh, question there. I mean, I feel like I'd rather start with 50 chickens so they can start laying eggs immediately instead of eggs that need to be hatched and then grown into chickens and then they lay eggs. But then, aren't the... Uh, isn't that going to be priced in? Shouldn't the eggs be a lot cheaper as a result of the fact that the chickens took resources to grow? No? Oh, so a chicken and an egg are the same price? Next time I go to Costco, my ass is buying 18 chickens for 99 cents then. With current egg prices, I don't think so. Brother, you got to go to the grocery store. The egg bubble popped. We're now in heavy egg deflation. You're like eight months behind on odd lots. Okay, Milan, I suppose, could probably use some connections here. Honestly, I'm a simple man. I'll give you a level one there. I'll give you a level one here. I'm not going to give you a level one to Vienna. It's not necessary. You can, you can fly to Bern for 15 minutes and then take a flight to Vienna. This is the price you pay for living in a small city like Milan. Sweden in 16 minutes. For now, I think we did just speed me up. And get ready to pause in case there's an emergency. 
Holy cow. Hello. Yo, thank you. Jugo juice. Thank you. That's a good question. I don't know what I do with my coaster. Okay, that's fine. So I should handle that that one, right? Okay, thank you. Okay. Milan has a higher population than Vancouver. Yeah, but adjusted for when the uh, city was founded, Vancouver has a much higher population than Milan. Milan has been Milan for probably like thousands of years, right? Vancouver's only been Vancouver for like 120 years. So if you multiply, or if you take the population and then divide it by the number of years that it's been named the same thing as presently named, then, I mean, we're, you guys are getting cooked in Milan. Holy cow. <laughs> you were screwed. <laughs> Oh, you still measure by number of people? Yeah, yeah, in North America, we measure number of people divided by the year in which the city was founded. Not the year in which people were living there, because then you got to deal with all sorts of complications. Our financial department offers us not to build first level airports because of their low capacity, but we need to make some investments in opening the building material factory for 2400. Do you want to do it for 2400? Sure. A new airport has opened in Salerno. I'll give you a level one plane for that. Oh man. Vancouver doesn't have any 4,000 year old cathedrals. I don't know if that's true. It sounds true, but I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't be so confident. We got a lot of old restaurants. You know White Spot was invented here? Okay, I would like to unlock Sweden, please. We'll give you a Stockholm to... I'll, I'm Because I'm a nice guy and I respect Sweden. I'm going to give you a Stockholm to Copenhagen and a Stockholm to Warsaw. Don't say I never did anything for you, okay? We got a Florentine airport. We'll send you to Rome on a level three, just so we don't have to worry about it later. We'll upgrade this Roman airport. Next goal is going to be Norway. Prague is almost full. Okay, so slow me down, slow me down. We're going a little too fast. Copenhagen is almost full. Bro, you have like two routes. I guess you're only level one. Fair enough. Give me Norway. We've unlocked Oslo. Oslo's gonna go to Copenhagen. Again, no disrespect to um, this Oslo to Stockholm route, but until we have more airports here, I'm not making any extra connections. You can go burp burp. Otherwise, you can take a damn dog sled, okay? I am sick. It's true. I, I feel bad. Wait. I don't feel bad. An aircraft manufacturer has successfully tested a new supersonic private jet. And they want to give us one as a gift to fly from Vienna to Warsaw. Holy cow, it's going to be like a six minute flight. Where the hell is Catania? Oh, it's in Sicily. I was uh, sick last week and this weekend. And I thought for sure that my wife and my daughter weren't going to get it. Because after like four days, they did not get it. But then like the day I got better, they both got it. <laughs> but all you can do is you could be like a good, uh, a good husband and father. Try to do a solo Costco trip this afternoon. It's messed up. The thing that's messed up is I don't know how I got it. 
Because obviously I got it like independently. Because if, if we were exposed to the germs at the same time, you would have expected we would have gotten it closer together. Probably because you sniff your own butt. That was my wife who said that, by the way. It really do be your own. I One thing I'm just pointing out here, I think it would be nice if there was a button that was like, upgrade all red airplanes. So I don't have to manually find them. And more graphs, please. Hey, I want to go from Sicily to Stugert. Any tips for me? Yeah. Fucking pick a different destination. Oh, I want to go from uh, Vancouver to fucking a town with eight people in the middle of Andorra. Oh, I can't get a direct flight. Least entitled traveler in the world. Fly to a hub and then take a train. I thought that was Europe's thing. Is they got th they're always so smug about their trains. Meanwhile, they like can't get a a, a flight and uh, directly, and they're like, "Oh, this is crazy." Get a bike, exactly. Do what you've got to do in every American city. Fly to the closest airport and then be forced to rent a car for like three hundred dollars a day. I know it says that it's seventy dollars a day on the Hertz website, but that's before you factor in um, the insurance and the, oh, there's a, a fee if you touch the steering wheel and there's a fee if you ever open up the oh, you want something with a back seat too? Oh, that's gonna cost you. Okay, Gdansk has opened up a new airport. Get a quick one right there. Meanwhile, in the Midwest, they're like it's only a twelve-hour drive. I think there's a meme to be had there. I always, it, it, I, listen, it's just different personalities, but like people in America, I feel like they're always like, oh, tomorrow's gonna fucking suck. I have a two and a half hour long flight. Oh, fuck. I hate my life. Then if they're like, oh, I've got to drive from like Dallas to Austin tomorrow. I think those cities are actually too close, but sometimes they're like, oh, we're going to drive from Philadelphia to Miami. Oh, really? Isn't that a long drive? Not really. It's only like, it's only like 28 hours. I'll drive for seven hours, and then the passenger will drive for seven hours, and then the people in the back will drive for seven hours each, and then we're there. They're, oh, a two and a half hour flight, and I gotta be at the airport 45 minutes early. I've gotta eat lunch at the airport, and then watch a movie on the airplane, and then land in ex almost exactly the city center of the destination that I wanna go to. Driving's more engaging? I don't mind driving, but that's exactly why flying is better. It's because your ass just sits in a chair and watch, watches a movie instead of like, if you ever lose focus for more than an eighth of a second at a time, your ass is cooked. I can't get out of my plane and walk around. It's two and a half hours. And I mean, the one that I've constructed in my head here. Also, I was getting pissed off when I was like, why do all these motherfuckers stand up as soon as the plane lands? And people are like, I want to stretch my legs. So sue me, I want to stretch my legs. Buddy, you know you can walk like to the bathroom on the airplane while it's in the air. You're not going to fall out through like a trap door in the bottom. It's like, oh, it, it's so weird how just every single time a flight lands, no matter how long the flight is, whether it's 45 minutes or 10 hours, that's exactly the time when I need to stretch my legs. You know how idiotic that sounds? I will say, I still, like, I'm kind of smart. It still feels like to me that if you stood up on an airplane and then you jumped, your ass should be, like, heaved to the back of the airplane by the force. Thank you for the raid, Daniel. Thank you. 
Our plans fell through, so you can see I'm playing an engaging game here. It's called Flycorp. We're, we're building out a logistic network of airlines in Western Europe. Oh! The Olympics are being held in Norway. The number of passengers looking to fly there is three times larger for a week. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not opening up and I'm not buying a new plane just for the Olympics. They only happen once every four years, dude. Okay, you know what? If you live in the town that gave us salami, you get, you get to fly to Rome, but you also get to fly to Bern. That's why, because I, re I respect you. Norway might need bigger airplanes. I mean, we should expand a little bit here. Everything's going great. We got $5,000. Give me a little Ljubljana. Thank you. Not really a hub, but we'll give you a quick connection there. We'll give you a quick connection there. We'll give you a quick connection there. From Slovenia, you can get wherever you choose. And then Montenegro. Podgorica. <laughs> That's really not how it's pronounced. We'll take you to Rome on a level 3 airplane. We'll take you to Vienna on a level 3 airplane. And then this shit will blow your mind. How about a quick flight to Warsaw on a level 3 airplane? Next goal, United Kingdom. Juice them up, man. 631, London. I've heard of it. Um, listen, I don't want to offend England. I feel like, I w why make London a hub? When instead, we could make Portugal a hub. Hits Europe. It's the, one of the best ways to get to North America. One of the best ways to get to Africa. You could even get to South America easily there. Why not just have England be like a little stopover? Either way, I mean, I'm definitely going to give you like a London to... You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> London to Hamburg. And you'll like it, okay? You had your chance with Heathrow, and you blew it. I'm not trusting you with a damn international hub just yet. Get ready to learn German, buddy! Look at Dresden? What do you mean, look at Dresden? It's doing fine. What if I have to go to Prague? You drive a car. Or you fucking sit on the airplanes and you enjoy it. A new airport has been opened in Manchester. Okay, I'm realizing it probably makes more sense to do it like that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> there's because there's probably going to be more airports here. I'll give you that one. Goal Serbia? Sure, I'll, I'll take a Belgrade. Belgrade is going to connect to Pogdorica and nothing else for now. That's fine. Next goal is Hungary. I mean, we got 40 minutes here. Dresden to Prague is a 3,000 mile flight for a 100 mile drive. Okay, so drive it. I can't take an airplane from my house to the grocery store either. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Buy a bike. That's what I'm saying. Get ready to learn how to pedal, buddy. We need flyable cities. Many people are saying this. We need flyable cities. My ass is like broke, man. Let's just hit the fast forward button until we get some money.
Belgrade to Katowice? No shot. You can fly to Pogdorica, the most major airport in the Balkans, and then you can fly to Warsaw, and then you can go to Katowice, okay? New planes and upgrades are gonna be expensive. A new airport has opened in Birmingham. Okay, well, Birmingham to London. I gotta say, for now, England's eating pretty good. Nobody in England has to buy a bicycle. You understand, by the way, this is not, people are like, what about all these unconnected airports? Bro, not every airport on Earth is directly connected. Have you ever, like, bought an airplane ticket in your life? <laughs> Sometimes your ass has to go through somewhere else. Oh, so it would be really nice if Dresden and Prague were connected. It'd be really nice if Prague and Rockclaw were connected. Okay, buy me a fucking airplane. Buy me an airplane! Big city privilege. I get direct flights everywhere. Living in a city with a major airport is crazy. Like, if you like to travel. I mean, this is not news to anybody. This is like, you know, oh, hey, fresh fruit tastes good. But I'm telling you. I always think about it like when, when we go to Japan. We literally like board here, watch four movies, and then land here. When my ass went to South Korea, you know what I had to do? My ass boarded here, flew to like around here, had like a three hour layover or something, flew to here, had like a two hour long layover, and then fucking flew here. Like it was crazy. And I had to drive to the first airport to begin with, which was like three hours. They fly over the Pacific? I feel like I need to pause because I'm going to lose my mind. Yes, they fly over the Pacific. Are you okay? You think you fly from Vancouver across all of Canada, across all the Atlantic Ocean, and then across all of Europe, and then across all of Asia? That's the whole Earth. <laughs> That's where you went? What are you talking about? I went like this, and then I, because I can't scroll the other way. Then I, I went to go like this, all the way over here. Why are you paused? Well, I didn't want to lose while I was teaching people that the Earth is a sphere. Is it not faster to go to the East? Excuse me, American Airlines CEO? I've got uh, so, uh, a young buck with a bold idea on the telephone. He wants to speak to you. Hey, you guys are spending like a lot of money on fuel. You ever consider just flying east instead? I think it would be faster based on what? The prevailing winds? It's true. Can't you just go in the orbit and then wait for the Earth to rotate and then come back? If the Earth is actually spinning, shouldn't you just be able to, like, jump? And doesn't the Earth spin at, like, 15,000 kilometers an hour or something? If you jumped, like, three times, you could be in the next city over. Can you imagine what that would be like if you just jumped and it was like... <laughs> and you're like, my ass is in fucking Kingston. <laughs> now I'm in Belleville. <laughs> now I'm in Gananoque. <laughs> now, I'm in <laughs> now I'm in Smith Falls. Hey, where did that airport just open? Glasgow! Brother, you cannot lose in this game. Budapest? Budapest is not a hub, but it's going to connect the hubs. It's a very convenient location here. There you go. I fell asleep watching this stream and I could hear this beeping noise in my dream and it was a smoke detector making the low battery noise. 
I feel kind of uh, bad because I don't think there's any beeping in this game that sounds like a smoke detector. I think you should check your smoke detector. There is? Oh, only when you connect things. Okay. Meet a little Belarus. I know you'd love to go from Milan to Minsk, but that won't be happening. We'll go we'll go Minsk to Warsaw on a level three. London to Burn would go crazy. That would mean having to admit that I'm making London into a hub. That's tough for me. You know what? I, I could see, like, um... I'm just putting myself in the shoes of a Norwegian traveler. And to get to Vienna, you have to fly to Copenhagen, Hamburg, and then Vienna. That kind of sucks. There should be, like, an Oslo to Vienna. Hi, Tomo. You want to you wanna go out, Tomo? Uh, breaking news, London is almost full. Okay, d deploy another... Uh, wait, we're building Eastminster Abbey. Don't panic. Are you supposed to be able to lose this game? Or am I just, like, the best to ever do it? There's a contest for the best airline with a huge prize in Stockholm. Participating will cost us 436. I'm pretty confident I would win. A new airport has opened in Newcastle. We won the contest! What, there are two airlines? I doubled my money? I was so... I was so stoked, dude. I thought we were gonna win like... like a million dollars. Imagine you have to go from Stuttgart to Budapest. Well, here's the thing, okay? Is that... This should be sold, and this should be sold. And then Stuttgart, instead, should just connect to Hamburg. There you go. There you go. Now, how do you feel if you're from Stuttgart? Look at that. I just, I, I, I just made your life worse in order to make Germany better. What about Bern? You fly to Hamburg and then you fly to Bern, otherwise your ass gets on a damn train. How about London to Rome? They haven't earned it yet. Pretty busy airport though, I gotta say. Copenhagen to Vienna. I'm refusing to acknowledge that Copenhagen is a hub. You know what I am willing to do for you? And, and don't say I never did anything for you. I'll open a North Sea route from London to Oslo. And why, why would I do this? Because it also... Oh, hello, Gothenburg. London's choke. Hang on. Birmingham. Are you... It's, I think we got a lot to focus on. Why are so many people flying to Birmingham? Why can't you just, like, rent a lorry? Breaking news. Vienna's almost full. It feels like I got a little Oslo hub here. Sucks to have to cross an international border for it, but like by all means, there you go. Look at that, Norway. Don't say I never did anything for you, Norway. If this is the case, we should do that too. Hamburg, biggest airport of all time. So there's a level five airport. 
London, also a level five airport. I gotta say, if you build it, they will come. Why is Oslo the hub and not uh, Copenhagen? Because Copenhagen is too close to Hamburg, which was our original hub. If I was going to do it differently, that here's the thing. We started with like these four airports. If I was going to do it differently, I probably would have made Berlin a hub. But it just so happened that everybody connected via Hamburg first, okay? It's just it's, This is the first one we built. All three level, uh, level three planes have been removed from service due to suspected hydraulic faults in Sweden. They can be replaced for 600? Sure. I would like to not lose my level three airplanes. I mean, level three is just like, that's like a default airplane now in my world. Okay, we'll go. I mean, these are long flights, don't get me wrong. We'll give, we'll give you a Kiev to Warsaw and we'll give you a Kiev to Pogdorica. This is a long trip, brother. Don't get me wrong. We could give you a Kiev to Vienna as well, but he's just doing anything. What are you talking about? This is... I mean, I, I think I'm doing amazing. I haven't lost yet. Hey, I know it's a bold uh, idea for a, a video game developer to make a video game that doesn't fucking kill you a thousand times in the first hour that you play it. I really appreciate it, quite frankly. It's a, it's a novel take on having fun with like a digital toy. Most indie game developers would be like, oops, um, you had a, a GDPR data violation. You don't have enough money to pay your fine. Now the airline's owned by the government. You lose. Start over. Hey, you built a great airline. Unfortunately, uh, you just suffered a heart attack and died. It, that, it, it should teach you something about the ephemeral nature of life. You lose. Start over. To thank us for connecting Amsterdam to our transport network, Netherlands gave us 458. Thank you, Netherlands. Thank you. Very cool. How you doing, Rome? You could be a level four airport. And then I think, I mean, it's like a gimme. We got to get that London to burn going at some point. That's going to be huge for England. Now they're connected with uh, civilization. Hamburg, how you doing? Still okay. Kiev is almost full. Upgraded immediately. I got you. How about Amsterdam to Frankfurt? Hang on. Let me just take a look here. Amsterdam to Frankfurt. No, we won't be doing that. You can connect. Now here, you know what? You got a little connection here. I think you're doing just fine. It sucks if you... You know what? I'll give you a connection to Warsaw, but that's it. You're not going to get your connection to Vienna. How about a... Give me a Kosovo. I'm also learning a lot about geography. A little level three airplane. They're French! That's a big one! I was like, where is it? <laughs> Paris, I've heard of it. A tornado touched down in Milan and the airport was severely damaged. What? Does, does that actually happen? Paris goes to Bern. I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna give you a quick level one flight here from Lyon to Bern. I'll give you a level one flight from Lyon to Rome. And then I'm gonna give you a level three flight from Paris to Rome. Welcome to society. I'm gonna give you a level three flight to Hamburg as well, of course. And I'm gonna go a little pog crazy with you. France is eating, so true. I think we gotta go Paris to Warsaw as well. A new airport has been opened in Marseille. A level three to get you to the hub. 
a level one to get you to a different hub and a level one to get you to a different hub. Everything seems great. Burns looking kind of busy. You know what? Guess what? We got a level four uh, airport now. Moldova's been unlocked. Chisa now. Go ahead and take a level three flight to Kiev. Go ahead and take a level three flight to Pogdorica. Romania. Our PR department recommends us to donate 530 to charity. They said it would make us more money, so I've decided to do that. The charity campaign succeeded. One billionaire decided to buy a lifelong ticket for 2653. Let's go! <laughs> Connection to burn. France is eating too well. You know what? We're slowing them down a little bit. Paris is almost full, brother. Let me click on it. You get to fly to Switzerland. You don't even get to fly within your own country if you live in Nice. Next goal, Romania. Let me get Bucharest. Not a hub as of right now, but you can still, you can fly to Kiev. You can fly to Pogdorica, and I'll do you one better. You can even fly to Warsaw, which almost makes you a hub, I suppose. Give me a level three flight here. Let me unlock Bulgaria. I mean, I'm, I've taken over the world. Let me unlock Croatia. We're, we're getting like a country a second. <laughs> I don't know, don't know how long we can keep that up. We could also use this Zagreb to Vienna. There you go. Okay, now just relax. Just chill. Sit back and watch the money roll in. Our financial department is advising us to withdraw all of our first level planes. We can replace them with a better plane for 50% discount. Should we do this? Yes. Buy low, sell high. and then immediately sell them for 50%. I'm not even stressing, man. Everything's okay here. How about Sofia to Budapest? I refuse. You'll fly to Pogdorica, and then you'll fly to Budapest, and you'll like it, okay? Let me click on the airport. Thank you. Let me take you to level five real quick. Ireland, welcome. Dublin to London at level three. A new airport has been opened in Odessa. How about one of those? How about one of these? We have an hour until we need to unlock the next country. What is this game is... Someone played 350 hours of this? <coughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell Slovakia did to piss off the developers in Belgium and Luxembourg. <laughs> They're just relaxing. Doom, 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 doom. Warsaw to Kiev should get another plane. Hang on. Supersonic jet from Paris to Bern. Let's go. A new airport has opened up in Bordeaux. Go ahead. Okay, you were saying Warsaw to Kiev could use another airplane. You know what? There is a level three on that one that's turning red. So I, I trust you. I'll buy another. You know what? I'll do you one better. Enjoy your level five airplane. You see the speed that this dude, it's zooming. I think we might need to upgrade the, the burn airport real quick just because we're getting so many passengers there. Amsterdam to Prague. I'm sorry to uh, tell you this. Where the hell is Lublin? 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. There it is. I was like Ljubljana, Dublin. Um, I forgot what I was saying. It in real life, Amsterdam, major airport. In this game, it's an alternate reality where it didn't get the attention that it, it did in our current realm. Okay. So like, if you want to go Amsterdam to Prague, I'm sorry, you're going Amsterdam, Hamburg, Prague, okay? Amsterdam to Paris? Nah. You know what, okay, I'll get you. They, they could use it. They've been sitting there patiently for a long time. The Worldwide Logistics Association recommends we upgrade all first level airports. Should we do this for 300? It seems like the, the cheapest uh, upgrade in Earth's history, so sure. Everything's going great here. I'll t I mean, we only got like 10 minutes, right? Give me a quick uh, Albania. And that's the easiest flight of all time. Give me a Tunisia. It's a new continent. Top 10 times there was a Pogridge moment in Flycorp. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be a hub. You're pretty close to Rome, which is a hub in and of itself. But it might be nice in Lille? Yo, France, just relax, okay? Next goal, Spain. We take those. I think it should be a hub. Or at least it should connect to some major airports. So many red planes. That's good. A, red planes travel faster. B, Red planes are full, which means we're making maximum amounts of money on them. Bratislava. You're victims of your own success. You're so close to Vienna, I'm not giving you a flight to anywhere else. A gardening festival is being held in Toulouse. The number of passengers looking to visit has increased by 2x for a week. We will not be purchasing a, uh, a new airplane just for the garden festival i'm sorry to inform you next country latvia latvia connects to kiev it's hard to get to minsk i'll give you that one if you want to go from latvia to belarus get ready to learn how to drive buddy breaking news paris is almost full Breaking news, they lied. A new airport has opened in Seville. 65 minutes to unlock North Macedonia, huh? Fly to Minsk. I'll even tell you, you know what? Straight up with your buddy, you can fly to Hamburg. I don't think you can die in this game. And this is exactly what I needed in my life right now. 90 minutes of consequence-free gaming. You absolutely can. I mean, agree to disagree. I've taken over almost all of planet Earth. Tunisia is quarantined due to a virus outbreak. All flights here are canceled for a week. Oh, all right. Well, you know, stay safe. We need a Madrid to Rome. That being said, Ankara, probably going to be a hub. I have no money left. <laughs> Just wait for it. Holy cow, that's expensive. We'll connect you to Kiev as well. Paris is almost full. Upgraded immediately. I'm scared you. Ankara to Paris. Just give me a minute. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Getting a little spicy with it, huh? I don't buy level one airplanes. That's for uh, Allegiant. 
Okay. Luckily, I had a diffuse kit. What happens when it gets to zero? The impatience of European passengers leads to the collapse of the aviation industry in the continent. You love bicycles so much? Okay, get ready to, get ready to marry them. I have many opinions on the hub and spoke model. Don't be shy. Show me what you got. We, we're doing this every time. I want to get from Nice to Madrid. Why does it take so long? Because you're not Paris. If you want to get from Paris to almost any other major city in Europe, you got lots of options here. If your ass lives in Nice, you got to take another... You got to take a few flights, okay? If you want to get to Madrid quickly and you don't want to live in Madrid, move to Paris. Otherwise, why don't you fucking appreciate the fact that you live in Nice and the weather's probably nice and you're close to Monaco and, you know, there's good, great wines or something like that. And Oh, I want to get... I live somewhere, but I want to get somewhere else. There's people out there with real problems, okay? Unfortunately, our charity campaign didn't get us more passengers, but there is some good news. It did provide a 10x uh, return on investment. Sure, I'd probably take that. I'd say that's pretty acceptable. Bro, this, this Parisian airport, holy cow. Rome looking kind of, sp oh, you're not wrong. Rome is looking kind of spicy. I'm kind of insane at this game. Tripoli, you can just connect to Tunis. Armenia, I know where you are. Yerevan, did you know that Yerevan is the last world cap capital in alphabetical order? At least in English. Uh, sorry, second last, Zagreb is last. There was a final Jeopardy question like seven years ago about it. You don't only have to purchase your gold countries. Technically right, technically right for sure. What about Zadawa? Who is it, was it? It was Mouth last week, right? That said, um, he had heavy zaddy energy. He was throwing me for a damn loop, man. 